Hi everyone, it's Chris Snatsky here with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching with your Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week. You know, every six months in my martial arts business, I uh, bring on a group of about well, I have several students who are getting ready to test for their black belt. These are students ranging all the way from, say, 10 years old all the way to adults into their 30s, 40s, and 50s. And it's interesting, the first time that I'm teaching them, many of them I haven't seen. I haven't taught directly because they're my student students. But in the uh, eight weeks prior to their black belt testing, they get me every Saturday morning for some pretty uh, intense training. And what's interesting is it's a, it's a, a pretty common uh, phenomenon that during the course of those classes, they begin to mess up. They're, they're making mistakes they would never make before. And what I can see is, is that the mistakes or the hesitation that they're experiencing basically comes not from the fact that they don't have the ability, but it's coming. Hi, Kendall. Great to have you watching. They, it comes from the perspective of them being fearful of making a mistake. Right, And what it does is it always brings up this story for me, one of the most prominent stories in my life that I always share with them, and it happens. Um, it happened during my freshman year of college. As many of you know, I was blessed to be able to play uh, football at Northwestern, and I was a new inside linebacker, and it was fall camp. And for those of you that played football, you know that those two-day practices are pretty arduous. They aren't just about the physical toll that it takes on your body, but there's also the emotional and the mental stuff that's going on. And making the transition from college to college football from high school football was tough enough. So one of the things I came to learn really quickly is when you're playing the linebacker position is that you are the guy that's in charge of the defense, right? So when the offense comes up and sets up, you're the one that's calling out to the defensive lineman, put him in position. So now you get the picture. I've got all this going on in my mind. I've got to think about my assignments. I got to get my, my teammates lined up. Hi, Becky. Good to have you join us. And what ends up happening is I'm starting to freeze because I'm so petrified of making mistakes. So of course, from that um, from that position, what ends up happening? I'm making tons of mistakes. I'm missing my reads. I'm getting people lined up in the wrong place. And you know, after a while, I'm getting discouraged and I'm making more and more mistakes and my coach is getting more frustrated. And finally, he bellows out, Natsky, if you're going to make a mistake, make it full speed. <laughs> and it always stuck with me. You know, when I started to think about that for a while, what he saw is that I was holding myself back because I was so self-conscious about making mistakes. So I wanted to share that story with you because I always, I think of that story often. It made me think about how we in our own lives don't take action. We don't take risks because we're afraid of making a mistake. And think of all the th opportunities we have in our life that we, we, we just don't take advantage of because we're afraid of looking silly, we're afraid of doing something wrong. And the interesting thing about mistakes is, is it's something that's, it's just part of our learning process, part of our growth. I mean, think about, if you will, think about a toddler. Think of the first time a toddler is trying to walk and it fell down for the first time. It said, I've had enough of this, not gonna do that again, but it keeps getting up and it keeps getting up. And the thing of it is too is, think about some of the times in our lives that we're probably most proud of. Those are the times when we've fallen once or twice or maybe three times, but we keep getting up. And those are the times that we really reflect on being the most important parts of our life. So this week, I challenge all of us, myself included as a recovering perfectionist, to be okay with making mistakes. Know it's part of the learning, growth, and expansion process. And it's how we get from where we are now to where we really want to be. So whether you fall down once, or you make a mistake twice, or you make a mistake three times, keep going. And when you make a mistake, make it full speed. So thanks so much for listening. Again, my name is Chris Natsky with Black Belt Leadership Speaking and Coaching. If you gain value from these, please make sure to like them, comment, and share. And we'll see you next time on the Mind of a Champion Tip of the Week.